Oscar, why is it so quiet? I thought it was a divisional round playoff game. Come on, people. Let's go. Here, let's go. Wait, wait. Here we are, Citizens Bank Park, home of the Philadelphia Phillies. And today, the Phillies are not home yet. Just a mere few days away. But today, we take on Eddie Perez and the Atlanta Braves. Eddie, your worst nightmare begins today. And here we are celebrating the second round of the playoffs. Unlike the New York Mets fans. Let's buckle in, folks. Let's get ready to get ready. Big Nick. one nothing. your Philadelphia Phillies. What's that score? Two. Go, Oscar. Not one. Not one. Two. And officially, the game actually ends if we score two runs in the first inning. So we're done. That's it. Let's go. Welcome to your worst nightmare. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. It's, it's already. It's already. Uh, who we got pitching? Oh shit! Let me drink this. Hey, my name's Justin. I'm from KYW. Can I still a second of your time? Sure. Time to talk about just being out here today. Sure. Who would like to? Who would like to speak? Who wants to be the guy? Capwell. Capwell. The president. The president. I've done this before. I can't. I'm jealous that he has my name. Yes. Sure. You could tell me your name, where you're from. My name's John, and I'm from Bridesburg. And John. What brings you, why are you guys, what started this? Uh, what started this is we've been watching games out here since, well, when the pandemic started, we came out here and started watching games. Uh, since there's no way to watch the game inside the stadium, the Phillies turn on the TVs for us on Ash Alley so we can watch it like we did during the pandemic and we can watch it together kind of like as a family. Uh, we go to every game. We've been to every game this season. Uh, well, Oscar's been to every game this season, and we all join them as much as we can. And I can't picture a, watching a baseball game with any other people than these people right here. Um, they're like my baseball family, so it's the way we spend time together. I was going to say, and just how does it make you I feel to, to, just, uh, to just be able to cheer the Phils on Me and Petey were sharing They haven't been in, in years. Where's Petey? Every game is a blessing. I'm not religious, but every game, I, I, we're not supposed to be here, I feel, and we're stealing all these wins, and we're stealing all the happiness from all of our opponents, and that makes me happy, because we're making people miserable being the underdogs. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. And I'm going to talk to you at the end of the game. Sure. Now, can you think he's up there? Let's go, Captain. That's the sign, Captain. That's it. Come on, Wes. Let's do it one time. Whoa. I got my playoff beard. You love it? <laughs> <laughs> so the Braves took out their starting pitcher, and we're winning four to one. And we're going to get an update from our sports expert, Ty. Ty, what do you think so far? It's pretty good. They got to Max Free, they got him out of the game, so that means that the uh, Braves are going to have to go into their bullpen for 18 outs, 20 outs. And then they have five. We have five games in six days. This is the add-on. This is the tack-on that can really wear a team down by forcing them into their pen this early. And remember, Strider, if he pitches, can only go like three or four. So that's going to have to be a bullpen. This is a good sign. So far. there, it's an extremely good sign. And this is the game they're supposed to lose. They were a. Who is our plus one seventy in this game? They were not supposed to win this game. And here we are. And here we are. They're using their third best pitcher against the Braves' best pitcher. He's out after the fourth inning. Things are looking good. Things are looking very good. And by the way, WIP should hire Todd. Uh oh. Let's go! 7 1. 7 1.
<laughs> yet the Phillies are the best team in baseball. We are the best fans of the best fans. Woo! Uh, Atlanta Stakes. Eddie Perez, <laughs> this is your worst nightmare. I know you have no idea. This is really a big deal. Eddie Perez, your worst nightmare is happening right now. You're the bullpen coach of a team that's losing. And I know this won't be seen, but I feel good about myself, Eddie Perez. I feel really good. Thank you. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out with the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and Cracker Jacks. I don't care if I ever get that. Cause it's root, root, root for the Philly. Uh, yeah, you're going to get killed. It's a dangerous thing. Yeah, I feel like the captain now, man. Uh-oh. So we're at the uh, top of the ninth. 7-3, you're fighting Phils. And, uh... Things are looking good right now. Yeah! <laughs> oh! Oh, shit! Still a one-run lead. Still a one-run lead. Still a lead. Yo, it did. every other time that was a pop out. Every other time. Okay. Yo, we're still winning. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. We're still winning. Right? They're trying to come back. Shut the fuck up, Jay. Yeah. He catch that? Yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. yeah! Let's go! Come on! Yo, I saw that jump! I saw that jump! What we doing? What we doing? Let's go! Let's go! Oh, let's do it. Captain. Yes. Give me two seconds. I'm about to go live with you. Okay. Hold on. Oh, why? We're going live. Just I'll be good. I'll be a good boy. <laughs> and Michelle, I'm down here at in front of Citizens Bank Park. I'm with the fifth. Philly oh, no. captain. The Philly captain, Captain 215. And you guys have been cheering on the Phils this whole game. Got a little scared in the ninth inning. Just how are you feeling now? I wasn't scared. I knew we were going to win. No doubt in my mind. No doubt. What's up? When you are down, lift up the ground. There's a lot to be learned. So look around. Once there was a silly old ant. Thought he moved a robber tree plant. Anyone knows it, it can't move a robber tree plant. But he has high hopes. He has high hopes. He has high, he has high apple pie in the sky. Hope so when you start to feel in love, instead of letting go, just remember that it. Whoops, there goes another rubber tree. Whoops, there goes another rubber tree. Whoops, there goes another rubber tree. Man. Let's go up with my favorite sports expert, Todd. Todd, what do you think? Uh, that They stole it. They stole this one. They were not supposed to lose this. They're not supposed to win this game. So they stole this game, and now you need two more, and you got your two best guys going the next two nights. No brainer. No brainer. And if you lose one of them, you still have game four at home, where the Braves are going to be throwing like Charlie Morton or something like that. So you have a good chance to win two of the next three. Specifically, the next two. You're going to be probably favored in the next two. So they can fucking pull this off. Right. Which is unbelievable because, what, a week ago? I thought their season was over after right. that first Washington game. So, wow. Wow. This might be their year. 
Like this might, something special might be brewing here and I'm the most pessimistic asshole in the you world. really are. I know, for you. Welcome to your worst nightmare. Yeah. The hunt for Red October. <laughs> <laughs>